In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make coloring on After Effects without the plugin Magic Bullet looks. So let's get started. So before you add any of your coloring, you want to make sure your edit is overall finished. So you're just going to pre-compose your edit. Next, you're going to go to the search bar and look up hue saturation and add that to your clip. Now you want to change the master saturation to around negative 60, negative 50. You can kind of go all the way to negative 80, even though negative 80 is kind of a lot. Now go to the search bar, look up brightness and contrast and change the brightness setting to around 50 and the contrast to 30, 35, 40. You can kind of play around with it. Now I personally feel like that in itself is already like a good looking coloring, but if you want to, you can go to the search bar and add tint. And you wanna go where that little white color is and sort of change it to kind of a yellowish color. You can sort of do whatever color you want, but I find the yellow is like works best. Now, I know you might be looking at it and be like, this looks like kind of bad. It looks like you just added the color yellow over it. But if you go down to the amount to tint at the bottom, you can sort of change that percentage to just be lower, just so it has a little bit of color. So it's a little bit different. Finally, you can add what's called auto contrast by just searching contrast, taking that and dragging it there. And it automatically just, you know, makes it look like that. <laughs> it looks a little different. And then go look up sharpen. Can't spell there. <laughs> and add that to your clip. And you can change it between 10 to 15 usually is what I like. You can go 20 if you want. Um, and it gets good quality and just makes it clearer and sharper. Obviously it's called sharpen, so there you go. So for this next coloring, the first thing you're gonna do is look up unsharpened mask and add that to your clip. And you're gonna change the amount to around 30, 20, and the radius to around 40, 50, um, and the threshold at zero. And I'm gonna play around with it because it's a little, a little too much. So just change the numbers to how you want it. And then you're gonna go look up sharpen and change it to around 10, 15, that kind of range. And it already looks a lot different, um, but you can go to the side again and add what's called luminetry, luminetry color, luminetry color, I think, and play with the basic correction of it. So you just need to go to that tint and just make it a little, add a little color. See, it's a little red, a lot different. You have the contrast there. Now the color doesn't have to be that red color. You can go and play with it and change the amount, but I kind of like this setting right here. I'm gonna make it a little less just so it's not as red. So this last coloring is pretty simple. You're gonna go look up exposure and add that to your clip and change the exposure range from like 0.5 to like two. I did two at first and it was, you know, kind of a lot. So I muted it down just a little bit. And then you're gonna go to the search box again and look up our good old friend Sharpen that we've used three times. But this time you're not gonna do it between the 15, 20 range. You're gonna do it like kind of a lot. I did a hundred at first, which was too much, but you wanna do it around like, 40 maybe 30 like kind of overdo it it's not like a subtle thing this time in this specific coloring and finally you want to look up curves in the search box and add that to your clip and you just go to town and play with it see there's so much you can do with curves that i didn't like curves are amazing i didn't realize that they were that like cool like you can really just make like so many different colorings just by moving the line multiple places so just play around with this curve line you know make it more contrast if you want less brighter it kind of just does its magic so that's all you need to do you can add curves you don't have to it's kind of optional and you're done. So those are the three basic colorings that I made and you can try on your own. So if this is helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy new year, first video of 2023. So happy new year guys. Um, I love you guys so much. Bye.